Okay, part two. Uh, no, part three. Um, so I've added the layer of uh, sphagnum peat moss uh, into the tank. And, uh, oh, that's it, about an inch. And uh, sphagnum peat moss does not contain any nutrients. But um, uh, it has, it will make the water quite, uh, well, I want to say, well, slightly acidic uh, around oh, I don't know with my water as well I think around 6.8 or maybe slightly lower um, but what I will do is uh, provide I think it's uh, provide beneficial um, bacteria and all that for the roots I believe uh, it will basically help the roots really uh, and it has a high CEC. Uh, I forgot what the actual words for it are, but uh, I'll I'll put it down in the description. Well, basically, what it means to absorb the nutrients um, that uh, the osmocot re will release and uh, hold it there for um, for the roots. Uh, it'll make it available for the roots. Um, so the slow release first will be released when water or uh, reaches it, and then the nutrients come up and it'll hit the peat moss, and the peat moss will absorb um, uh, some of the nutrients and slowly release it for the roots. Um, soil, like uh, the potting mix, uh, like um, Miracle Grow Organic, uh, whatever it is, uh, has this ability as well. It's not just peat moss. Um, and after research and actually buying the stuff, I found out that peat moss is a really valuable resource uh, these days. Um, it's really hard to find because. Uh, the environment agencies and whatnot are trying to protect um, some bogs and things like that where these uh, peat moss are from. So I wouldn't buy this again for that for that reason uh, to preserve those those bogs and stuff. Uh, this layer, hmm, it's not really absolutely necessary, but I thought it was at the time when I got this but uh, you can skip this and um, use the cat litter on top of the osmo cot um, uh, instead uh, and I'll talk about that um, in the in the next part